Uh, now that you've got the idea of the arm coming across your body, don't lose that. With your pressing, the, same, the idea is exactly the same. We're not thinking about trying to push the weight away from us. We're trying to make sure the shoulders are locked back and down the whole time. And we're trying to think about bringing the arm across. So as long as you can lock the shoulders back in place, we're trying to really lock that back here. Wrist stays again above the elbow like you were in your, uh, your lat pull down. We're trying to make sure that your elbow stays directly above or below, sorry. Chest contracting first, we're trying to drive the elbows across, okay? So don't worry, we're trying to rotate in and around from now, just trying to make sure they're straight. We're opening that up, flaring the elbows nice wide. It's all in line, so our elbows directly under our wrist. Squeeze your chest, drive the elbows across, okay? As you see, a lot of people getting heavier, they generally find they feel their chest better on their first set than their last. Generally this becomes because they start in a position where their wrist is above their elbow, they're feeling their chest nice and well there, and all they do is they put more weight in the bar, they just start bringing their hands in closer, so there's more secondary muscles come in and there's more shoulders, triceps, whatever else to get the weight up, there's probably just the same amount of load, if not less, on the actual muscle. So keep that in mind where your wrist is in uh, relation to your elbow and just make sure that it, you can use that to your, exam, uh, to your advantage maybe in, in volume phases, but for now I really want to focus on keeping that a little wider, keep that wrist above your elbow.